Irrigation water can come from streams, ponds, ditches, or treatment plants. This water could be contaminated because it comes into contact with animals, people, and soil. That's why we need to collect and test the water for microbes that could contaminate it. For example, if E. coli is present, we have an idea that the water might have come into contact with feces, and it could cause serious infections. Scientists around the country use the same procedures to collect and analyze water wherever it is collected. They take multiple samples from each site and use multiple measurements for accuracy. That's one way we know the results can be trusted. In this lab, we'll follow the same techniques scientists use to ensure proper sampling and testing of water. 1. At the collection site, we'll make observations and document what we see. Note any animals that you see, the kinds of plants in the area, and the stability of the pond or stream bank. Record the day's weather. If it's raining, come back another day. Any precipitation can alter the results from the water. 2. Take steps to avoid contaminating the water sample with whatever may be on your body. Keep your hands clean and never touch the sampling bottles without gloves. 3. Get as close as you can to where water will be used for irrigation. For example, we sample at the very last spigot of a water treatment facility or just upstream of where water is pumped to a field. In any case, expect to get a little wet. 4. Take multiple measurements of the water's pH, turbidity, and temperature. The pH tells us how acidic or basic the water is. This affects how plants pull nutrients from the soil. Turbidity, or the cloudiness of the water, can tell us that there are soil particles or algae in the water. The water's temperature also has an effect on bacteria growth. The multiple parameter meter lets you measure all three parameters with one device. 5. Take multiple water samples using clean bottles and gloves. Finally, 6. Label and store the samples in a cooler at 4 degrees Celsius so they can be transported to the lab for testing. And really, that's all you need to know for now. Let's get started.